In this video, we will look at solving equations with radicals, specifically with even roots. Just as with odd roots, we know the opposite of taking a root is to do an exponent. However, if the problem has an even root, we must be sure to check our answer in the original equations, as sometimes the answer will be extraneous or will not actually work in the original equation. Also, as we're solving, it will be important to recall when we're squaring a binomial that we square the first term, then multiply them together, a times b twice, giving us two ab's, and then finally square the last term. We cannot just square both a and b. Let's take a look at some examples where we solve radicals with even roots. In this problem, we have a square root. To get rid of a square root, we must square both sides. This gives us x squared equals, square and square roots are inverses, 5x plus 24. You recall that equations with x squared can be solved by making them equal to 0 and then factoring the resulting equation. So we must subtract 5x and 24 from both sides. We like to keep the x squared term positive, and so this is why we move everything to the left, giving us x squared minus 5x minus 24 equals 0. We then want to factor this equation. To review factoring, you can watch some of the previous videos on factoring. This equation factors to x minus 8 times x plus 3. Once it's factored, we can solve for x by setting each factor equal to 0. x minus 8 equals 0, and x plus 3 equals 0. Solve the equations by adding 8, and we get x equals 8, and subtracting 3. x equals negative 3. However, before we say these are our final answers, we must check both of these equations in the original problem. Let's check the 8 by replacing all the x's with 8. This would give us 8 equals the square root of 5x, or 5 times 8, plus 24. Following order of operations, 5 times 8 is 40, plus 24. And 40 plus 24 is 64. The square root of 64 is indeed 8. This tells us the x equals 8 does work in the original problem. Let's test the negative 3. Going back to the original problem and replacing the x's with negative 3 gives us negative 3 equals the square root of 5x, which is negative 3, plus 24. We now have negative 3 is equal to the square root of negative 15 plus 24. And when we add those together, negative 15 plus 24 is 9. This gives us negative 3 is equal to the square root of 9, which is 3. Notice, negative 3 is not the same as positive 3. This means the answer negative 3 is extraneous, or does not work in the original equation. This is why it's important to check our answers with even x, with even roots. The negative 3 does not work, and we must throw it out. The only answer that works is the positive 8. This is our final solution. With problems like this, it is important to remember to check your answers, as sometimes only one answer will work, sometimes both answers will work, and sometimes no answers will work, meaning there is no solution. In part 2 of this video, we will look at solving another example, where again it will be important that we check the answers in the original equation.